Let's pray. You know, those songs are so awesome. If you sang along with those songs and if you paid attention to the words, it's just a marvel how God touched people's hearts. You just can imagine how excited they were about some aspect of the relationship with Christ and they begin to write these songs that the Lord lays on their heart and, and they carry on through the ages. They're so appropriate each and every day. So Heavenly Father, I just ask that as we sang those songs to you that we were able to pay attention to those words. I think most of us can multitask. We can sing and pay attention and, and I ask Lord that you would help us to plug those into our life that we would kind of do our self-examination as we sang those songs could we really sing those songs? Lord, you touch people's hearts sometimes. They get so excited about different areas and aspects. And, and Lord, they share that through these songs. They share that through all this music. And then, Heavenly Father, we're blessed to be able to come alongside and to, to sing along with this individual who wrote this song, to sing along with these people that are singing, leading us in worship, Lord, and, and giving that worship to you. And so, Lord, I guess you would find that our lives would be a song to you. Our lives would be a kind of an ongoing saga, an ongoing story related to our relationship with you. That there are times when we struggle, there are times when it seems like the world is darkness, but Lord, we realize that you're there with us. We realize, Lord, that you're going to give us that strength, that no matter what happens, I have Jesus on my side. And Lord, if we could sing those songs in the darkest of times, I tell you, Satan would run, Satan would scatter. And then, Heavenly Father, we have times when we have needs, times when we have health issues or finances or our relationships kind of going down the drain or, our, our, you know, our homes are in question or we hear about the sicknesses throughout the world and we begin to have worry and fear creep in. But, Lord, then again, we can sing songs about how you're our strength and you're our rock and you're our salvation. Lord, help us to remember those songs to sing, to chase away the worries, chase away the fears, chase away doubt. Chase away those things that rob us of that peace that you want us to have in our life. That joy that you leave for us, Lord, that we can hang on to that tightly. Lord, there are so many of us that sit here tonight. I bet you every one of us has a need. That every one of us, Lord, lifts up to you our need and says, You know, Lord, I, I need your help in this situation. I, I can't do it under my own strength. Or I, I try to do it over and over again and I'm just messing up. In fact, my life's worse off than when I began to try to solve it myself. And so, Lord, I would pray that we could turn those things over to you tonight. That we could lay those worries or lay those fears or lay that headstrongness, that stubbornness that we might have. And our fears or our health issues, Lord, we lift them up to you right now. And Lord, we ask for a healing to come upon every light that sits here tonight. Lord, as I have my eyes closed, that those lights always shine from up above. And I can see them through my eyelids. And Lord, I just sense that you are shining on each and every person here through the Holy Spirit. That if we'll just open up our hearts, if we would turn that radio on as the, same, the, the song sang about, if we would open up our hearts to you that we could receive all that you have for us. Boy, Lord, sometime if we could understand how much we don't receive because we don't listen. How much we don't receive because we don't open up our hearts to receive it. We have our arms crossed on a, you know, across our chest. We're emboldened. We're just empowered by ourselves and we don't open up to receive but Holy Spirit, I ask that you begin to soften all of our hearts and our minds that are maybe limiting that. That we can receive all that you want to give us, Lord. We're, we inherit the kingdom, Lord, you say. And so, Lord, let's receive the inheritance. We sure did on that cross, Lord. We receive that forgiveness. We receive the ability to have our sins erased from our bodies, erased from our lives. But, Lord, there's so much more that you would have us to have. That love and joy and peace and kindness, all those fruits, Lord, that we would open up to receive them. I think there'd be more smiling faces. I think there'd be people more at ease. People more have to say, hello, how are you doing? Wave as you drive by in the car. Because we can be released from these things that bind us and chain us down. It's tough to jump for joy with Jesus when we're bound down and chained down by Satan. And so, Heavenly Father, I ask that you release all the chains right now. Oh, that we could hear a clinking and a clanking going on as those chains fell to the floor. And Lord, that we will not pick them up. We will not help Satan attach them back to our arms and our legs. That we can have freedom as we sit here tonight. I think people come here sometimes, Lord, because they sense your peace and your love and your presence here in a mighty way. And so Lord, I ask, help us take that outside of the building. There's more. It will fill up again. But Lord, let us take this feeling... Let us take this freedom, let us take this love outside these walls, into our homes, into our relationships, into our workplaces, 
into those we come in contact with so that they can sense the light of Jesus Christ. Because where there's lightness, there cannot be dark. And so, Heavenly Father, hear this prayer. I pray for each and every person, whether it's health or finances, whether it's insecurities, whether it's hurt, whether it's revenge and envy, whether it's oppression, whether it's anger, whether it's wrath, all these things, Lord, we turn over to you. Yes. We ask for a cleansing to come upon all of us. Lord. Oh, this might be a little old cowboy church, but Lord, you can come and wash those stains of oppression off of us. You can wash those limitations that we have off of us, Lord, by your blood that you shed for each and every one of us. So, Lord, we just thank you for your presence. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, for all the work that you want to do in us so that we can go out and do work for you. I ask it all in the precious name of Jesus. And everybody said, <laughs> Amen. Amen. Absolutely.